The AirPods Pro has been one of the weirdest relationships I've had with a tech product in a very long time. It has given me positive experiences, and as noted in my previous review, I said that it was worth every penny. And in large, I, I still believe that. However, after owning these for a few months, I have quickly discovered all the things that suck about the AirPods Pro. It's a love-hate relationship, so let's talk about it. One of the strong points with the AirPods Pro is how they look. I genuinely like the way that they look in my ears, and I think they're subtle, and I really like that about earbuds. I'm not a fan of big earbuds, especially when they pop out of your ears too much, and I find that the AirPods don't do that, which is great. The AirPods themselves are made of a white-coated, shiny plastic material. It's, eh, it's okay. I would have loved an all-black version of these AirPods, I think they would have outsold the white easily, in my opinion. You'll also notice there's black ovals on the design of the AirPods. Those are actually the microphones. It's how Apple achieves its noise cancellation with an inner and an outer mic, which we'll talk about later in this review. In terms of how you control audio, it's gonna be located on the stem of the AirPod. You press once to pause, press twice to skip to the next track, and press three times to go back to the previous track. You can also switch between noise cancellation and transparency mode by just holding down one of the stems on either one of the AirPods. The control on the stems of the AirPods work very well. I'm actually impressed by what Apple has done here, except for the fact that they've omitted any ability to change the volume of your tracks from the AirPods themselves. This has been quite frustrating, and one of the solutions Apple has is asking Siri to do it, except Really, none of us are gonna ask Siri to change the volume, so we're all gonna resort to grabbing our iPhone and changing it there, which is, eh, it's kind of a clunky experience in my opinion. You can also change the volume if you do have an Apple Watch, that is a solution, but that also means you have to spend hundreds of dollars to get that solution, so. I mean, most of us will probably be using our iPhones. The case itself is okay. It's an all white plasticky build, just like the AirPods, and they're, they're quite small. Like they fit into any pocket or bag, and they're so small that it's actually quite easy to lose them. So just be mindful of that. But I, I'm really appreciative of how compact and portable the case is. The case itself is also how you charge the AirPods. You just grab them and pop them in the case, and voila, it's charging. And with just five minutes of charging these AirPods in the case, you'll get about an hour of listening time. So that's that's a pretty good quick charging on that front. This is really nice because the battery life on the AirPods actually aren't that great. They only last three to four hours on a single charge. Initially, I thought I would be fine with that, but I very quickly realized my phone calls and FaceTimes can easily last more than three to four hours, depending on who you're talking to. Or if you're like me and you watch an entire season of Netflix in one sitting, the AirPods are not gonna to survive past like two or three episodes before you have to charge them again. Ultimately, my AirPods die on me all the time, but thankfully the case can charge these rather quickly, so I'm back and up and running using them within five to 10 minutes. Speaking of this case, it is oddly addicting, like opening and closing it, it's, it's a very satisfying click. And I, I always wonder if, if, if Apple thought about that when they designed the case, like the actual feedback that we get closing it. I wonder if that was part of their schematics. Like we're gonna have a really awesome uh, opening and closing experience uh, for the case. But I digress, let's talk about the comfort. I think Apple did a great job with it. I'd give it an A for sure. These are the most comfortable earbuds I've ever worn in any earbud ever. That's a very bold statement, but I'll stand behind it. These are really comfortable. They're customizable too outside of the box. They come with different size ear tips. I personally use the medium ones for my ears, but there's also a small and a large one for people with different ear sizes. I will say though that after two to three hours of listening to stuff on the AirPods, my ears do start to fatigue a little bit, but this isn't exclusive to AirPods Pro. Literally any earbud has an issue where just over time, your ears fatigue, like in the canal, having that pressure of the earbud there all the time. I want to bring up a practical scenario actually that I've found quite useful, which is listening and laying down with earbuds and headphones. Like nobody talks about this, but we all do it. And with the AirPods, it's been the most comfortable I've ever had than any other earbud that I've used. If you lay at the right angle on your bed with the AirPod on the ear where you're laying on, it's still pretty comfortable and I can still keep listening and watching my movies or listening to music or taking phone calls. And sometimes I'll even just take out the earbud on my left ear that I'm laying on and leave the right earbud in when I'm on a phone call and I can still have a very comfortable call while being super lazy and laying on my bed. So. 
just something to point out there. And speaking of calls, here's a mic test for you guys to hear how the AirPods sound in an indoor condition like this. This is a microphone test for the AirPods Pro. This is a test of what it would sound like in an indoor environment. From my personal experience, I think the AirPods sound pretty good. Like their microphones are great and they're one of the best out there on the market today in, in terms of a controlled environment like this at home. But I'd say that when you go outside and it's super windy, that's where these AirPods just kind of fall apart. This is a microphone test of the AirPods Pro. I'm now outside standing beside the highway on a balcony. This is what it sounds like when cars are passing by. Although Apple has said that they've implemented technology to help mitigate wind noise, to help your voice be more clear, I've found in the end that people still can't hear me. Many, many times I've had to take out my AirPods and put them back in the case and just use my iPhone because the onboard mic on your phone will always be the best sound quality possible. Bluetooth audio and wind interference is always a struggle with earbuds and it's not just exclusive to AirPods Pro, but something I wanted to bring up in this review. This is a microphone test of the iPhone 12 Pro outside, right beside a highway in a kind of a loud, windy environment in comparison to the AirPods Pro. I just wanna take a moment now to talk about the pairing process of these AirPods. It is lightning quick when you take it out of the box and you pair it to your iPhone. You literally pop the case and the iPhone instantly recognizes the AirPods and it connects and voila, you can start putting them in your ears and listening to music, movies, you name it. What's great too is that once you've set it up for pairing for your iPhone, anytime you pop them into your ears, it will automatically connect to your iPhone most of the time. It's in this process, I will say that the AirPods are incredibly convenient over any other earbud you could possibly use on the iPhone when it works. And I say that very intentionally in this video because I actually have had some Bluetooth problems that I will get into later in this review. Ultimately, when it does work, which is like 90 to 95% of the time, it is effortless, like you don't even have to think. I just put them in my ear and I'm off with my day. It, it is the most convenient earbud experience ever uh, in a phone, in my opinion. These AirPods do work on MacBooks and iPads as well, just an FYI. And actually they have a built-in automatic switching feature, which in theory works some of the times, but not all of the time. So for example, I can be listening to music on my MacBook with my AirPods Pro, and then I'll grab my iPhone and then start watching a YouTube video. The AirPods in theory will automatically switch to the iPhone and now I'm listening to the video on my iPhone without me having to do anything. I find that it works the best when I'm going from my MacBook to my iPhone. It's pretty seamless, but when I wanna go back from my iPhone to my MacBook, then that's where this whole switching thing kinda just falls apart. It doesn't really work. I usually always have to manually do it on the laptop. Ultimately, when it does work, it's incredibly convenient, but unfortunately, that's just not the case. A lot of the times there's there's pairing issues and you're switching between these devices still, but you know, Apple tried at least. I just wanna pause this review for a second. If you guys are enjoying the video, please do drop a like down below. You have no idea how much it helps the channel grow here. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe. I have a ton of new product reviews and tech reviews on the way that I'll know you'll enjoy. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right back into the video. For strictly music listening, and I say this very intentionally, just music, uh, these earbuds are not the best sounding earbuds in the market. They're, they're just not. There's better sounding earbuds out there. But I have a feeling a lot of you won't really care because these earbuds still sound really good. Like they're just not the best, that's all I'm saying. The sound is clear, the bass is good, and there's good sound separation so you can hear all different aspects of a song that you're listening to. Like overall, I'm satisfied, and I actually grab these AirPods Pro way more than my Sony WXM4s when those have incredible sound quality, and it's literally just because the AirPods Pro are more convenient and quicker and easier to use. So let's talk about the noise cancellation. I actually think it works pretty good. Like outside, it does kill a lot of those frequencies and sounds of the ambience of the outdoors and crowds, and inside, it does a good job killing ambience as well. These aren't magical though. You'll still hear a really loud car or the low hums of a train, but 
it does work and I'm satisfied overall. And also when you have noise cancellation turned on, the music just sounds better. And that's no mistake because now the music you're listening to isn't competing with all of this outdoor outside ambience. It's just you and the music and whatever frequencies can bleed in through the noise cancellation, but ultimately it works pretty well. Transparency mode is awesome too. And my goodness, I, I don't know how I could live without these because you can go into any store and now you don't have to take off your earbuds whenever you need to have a conversation with a cashier or when you're buying something because you just hold the stem, go into transparency mode and now you hear everything. That's essentially what it does. It's transparent and this lets in all the sound as if the earbuds are not on your ears anymore. Like sometimes I forget they're on my ear. Like that's how good and comfortable the AirPods are and how good transparency mode is. For TV and music listening, let me tell you, Apple is in a different league for this because spatial audio with these AirPods with compatible apps are, it is a next level experience that I, it will be hard to explain in this video. If you're not familiar, spatial audio allows you to have an immersive three-dimensional sound um, in conjunction with the position of your iPhone. Not all apps support it. More and more apps are slowly integrating spatial audio into their movies and TV show streaming, but one that does is Disney+. Plus. Watching Mandalorian on my iPhone with my AirPods Pro was an experience that, I mean, <laughs> It was really good, That that's all I can say. I'm, I'm gonna do my best to explain this. Like just imagine for a moment that you're watching The Mandalorian and you feel like you're in the, the actual show, like you feel all the sound around you. It is incredible. Literally the sound's coming in front of you, behind you, like if there's a bullet, it's gonna like sound like the bullet's going past your ear. If there's bullets firing behind your ear, you're gonna hear it firing behind your ear, it is, it's a really good implementation. They did a really good job. And it doesn't even end there. Remember, I said that spatial audio is in conjunction with the position of your iPhone. So if I turn my head away, the audio isn't gonna follow me. It's gonna feel like I've turned away from, from the audio. Like it, the audio will now feel like it's behind me because I'm no longer looking at the iPhone. Incredible piece of technology and I, totally envision this being implemented into Netflix soon and other uh, streaming services in the future. <laughs> so off that note, this has been a generally a positive review with some minor nuances, but remember I said in the beginning of this review that I have a love-hate relationship with these AirPods and now we're gonna talk about the things that I hate about AirPods Pro. Bluetooth, 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 Bluetooth. The Bluetooth connectivity on this has been just I don't even, I don't have words. It it works a lot of the times, but when it doesn't work, it, it can be quite frustrating. I've had my earbuds lose connection. I've had many times where one earbud will connect and the other one won't connect. And now I have to keep like taking it out and put it back in my ears and taking it out and putting it back in my ears until they both pair at the same time. I've had some weird latency issues where I'll raise the volume on my iPhone and one earbud will get louder quicker than the other earbud. And you can kind of hear a disparity in audio between your ears for like five to 10 seconds. It's the weirdest, weirdest bug on the AirPods. Overall, I've just had general Bluetooth connectivity pairing issues. This isn't a 24 seven thing. I, I don't think this is a deal breaker, but it is still frustrating. I'd say it happens a few times a week. Sometimes it doesn't happen at all one week and then other times it'll happen all the time. It, it, it's a varying experience. All issues aside, even though they're very frustrating, the AirPods Pro are still the best earbuds you can buy on your iPhone today. There is simply nothing that can compete with this. And this is not me being an Apple fanatic or an Apple fanboy. It's intentional and it's by design when you think of the bigger picture here. Apple has such a tight integration over their entire ecosystem that anytime they introduce a new accessory to their iPhone, for the most part, it will always work better than the competition. For example, look at the Apple Watch. Rip all competition. Like nothing can compete with the Apple Watch and its integration to the iPhone. Another example is Apple's new AirTags. Tiles has been doing that kind of product for years and Apple has released a product that pretty much does all of the same things except that there's one key difference is that it just works better on the iPhone and it's just more convenient to use theirs than tiles on the iPhone. And I own a tile product. I own multiple tile products and 
I'm actually going to go out and buy AirTags because they're just more convenient to use. But case in point, these are not the greatest sounding earbuds. These are not the best noise canceling earbuds, but comfort, design, ease of use and integration with the iPhone and the convenience that that comes with eclipses those two factors above. Apple knows this. It doesn't need to be the technically most impressive product. It just needs to be the most comfortable and convenient one for iPhone users. And they nailed that to a T. And that's literally why AirPods Pro are the most popular earbud on the planet. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like down below. It greatly helps the channel here if you want to support it and subscribe if you're brand new to my channel. If you did finish the video, comment hashtag AirPods Pro. I'll make sure to heart and respond to your comment because you're a trooper for making it to the end. But anyway, I will catch all of you guys in another video this week. And as always, stay safe and we'll talk soon. Peace.